I didn't know what to do. I was so shocked. I, I was so confused. Now with four racist insults shouted at a high school soccer game. Now the players wait for the district to act. The latest on the investigation. Plus, police in American Fork are looking for a Utah County man in trouble for snapping photos of young girls again. Where they say he did it this time and... My wife, I think, has had it rougher. She had to watch me lay unconscious for two weeks. I couldn't have done that. Hope for patients after devastating traumatic injuries. The incredible stories coming out of IMC's neurospecialty unit coming up. Live from Utah's first TV station, News for Utah at 4 starts now. I'm Kim Fisher, in for Saray Chen. And I'm Glenn Mills. Glad to have you with us tonight. Racial slurs at uh, two Skyview High School soccer players lead to an investigation by the Canyon School District. They say this happened Tuesday at a game against Alta High School. News for Utah's Rosie Nguyen talked to the girls about this incident. Rosie, what are they saying? Well, Glenn, Kim, Darcy, and Emmy Woodward say they're usually the only black girls on their soccer teams, but it was never an issue for them until two days ago. They say during the game at Alta High School, people in Alta student section shouted racial slurs at them. Emmy said someone shouted, quote, black lives don't matter at her. Marcy says another person shouted, nice shot racial slur later on. They say they brought this up to the referee and staff, but nothing was done during the game. Their dad contacted school administrators at Canyon School District to make sure this doesn't happen again. I was actually like really hurt because I didn't understand and that people could, because outside of Smithfield, I don't get that. So when I went down, that they could say that to me. Darcy and Emmy say they don't know who it was that shouted those slurs, but it had nothing to do with the Alta High School's girls soccer team. Coming up at 6, how the Canyon School District is responding to the incident. Glenn Kim, back to you. All right, thanks, Rosie. We're learning more details from Draper Battalion Chief Matt Burchett's funeral today. That service will be held Monday, August 20th at the Maverick Center. Now, last night, it was quite the scene as Burchett was brought home from California. Thousands lined up the, along the procession route. Even people who didn't know him took time out of their schedules to honor him. Stick with News 4 Utah for the latest information on this story as it becomes available. And in honor of Chief Burchett, Utah Governor Gary Herbert ordered flags to fly at half staff at all state and public facilities until sunset on August 20th. Everyone else is also encouraged to fly those flags at half staff as well. Police in Ogden investigating a suspicious death. They say someone found the body of a man early this morning near 600 West 21st Street. We're told there was significant trauma to the body. Weber Homicide Task Force and CSI are now assisting in that investigation. An American Fork man previously convicted for lewdness is now accused again. Police say he's taking photos of young girls at stores in Utah County. And as News for Utah's Andrew Reese reports, police are hoping you can help track him down. Police in American Fork have still not been able to locate 30-year-old Dustin Scott, but charging documents show witnesses at a Deseret Industries here in American Fork saw him taking pictures of a six-year-old girl. That was back in July, and police say it was creepy, but not a crime. Scott told officers he was just taking a picture of a shirt, but when they checked his phone, they found photographs of multiple young girls in his deleted items folder girls ranging in age from about 6 to 16 years old. Most of the photos, police say, indicated that none of the girls gave consent for their picture to be taken. One of the photos, timestamped from October of last year, was up a 13-year-old girl's skirt. Police say that gives them enough to charge him with voyeurism. I believe his explanation was it was an accident, that he, he didn't mean to take that photograph. Given the totality of the circumstances, um, it, it gave us probable cause to to file a criminal charge. There is now a warrant out for his arrest for those pictures that were apparently taken back in October of last year. If you or anyone else knows where Scott is, you're asked to call American Fork Police. Reporting in American Fork, Andrew Reeser, News 4, Utah. Surveillance cameras at Smith's Food and Drug and Draper catch a burglary suspect on camera. Police say he was using credit cards that were stolen out of a car in Bluffdale earlier this month. Now officers need your help tracking this guy down. 
A 7-Eleven clerk stands her ground as police say two men point guns in her face and demand cash. Police say that aggravated robbery happened this morning at 4807 West, 3500 South. News for Utah's Brittany Johnson finds out why police say this was not the woman to mess with. It's all quiet now, but at one point, West Valley police had this area surrounded after receiving a call that two men ran inside, guns in hand, and robbed the place. Here's the scene just after 4.30 this morning. Um, information that we got from the clerk stated that she was actively being held at gunpoint and being robbed. Information coming to West Valley police in real time. Thinking this could be a hostage situation, Sergeant Robert Brenton called in every officer on the clock. That was our first thought. Uh, shortly after we gathered more information, we realized that it wasn't. The suspects, described as black and wearing hoodies, seen leaving the 7-Eleven in a red four-door passenger car just before police showed up, making off with an undisclosed amount of cash, beer, and cigarettes. It's a pretty serious crime, right? Uh, 10, 15 years in prison that you can receive. It's not worth it. As for the clerk, we're very familiar with her. She's doing just fine. Sergeant Brenton says she's not the one to back down in the face of danger. She's a very feisty woman, and so it doesn't surprise me that she is on the phone uh, telling these individuals that she's calling police and they're going to get in trouble and uh, they better leave the store. Police are currently going through surveillance video to see if there's anything on there that will help lead them to their suspects. In our reporting in West Valley City, I'm Brittany Johnson, News 4, Utah. Those men were not wearing gloves, so police are now processing that store for fingerprints. A warning now before you hit the road tomorrow through Labor Day, the Utah Highway Patrol is cracking down on impaired drivers as part of a national effort. You can expect to see extra troopers on the road through the Labor Day holiday. They'll be working 250 extra DUI shifts. Now, on average, in Utah, 33 people die every year due to impaired driving. And in 2017, there were over 10,700 arrests for DUI in Utah. That's an average of 29 and a half arrests every single day. And boy, you don't really think of it that it would be that much. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. We got Uber, we got Lyft, right? Yeah. We got other ways to yeah. get around. No reason for it anymore. Absolutely not. Well, still ahead in your national news headlines, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle raise concerns after the president appears to revoke security clearance to strike back at a critic. Plus, we're used to hearing cries of fake news from the White House. Now some newspapers are pushing back after being called an enemy of the people. And it is a nightmare scenario that's become a potential reality for students. How kids are learning to be first responders in the event of a mass shooting. Good morning, Utah. Good morning, America. Get your day started right with us. Portions of this program include sponsored segments. Join us for Barbecue Bites and Competition, Saturday, August 25th at the Pepper Mill Concert Hall from noon to 6. Watch and sample barbecue from some of the nation's top barbecue comp teams. For more information, visit wendoverfun.com slash bbq. It's Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. Like Titan, featuring an Endurance V8 with best-in-class standard horsepower and torque. Backed by America's best truck warranty. The smartest time to buy a new Titan is now. Save up to 11683 on the 2018 Titan. Or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. The resorts at Wendover are your home for world-class entertainment. The Peppermill Concert Hall is pleased to welcome the magic of America's Got Talent winner, Matt Franco. Live September 7th. Get your tickets and room packages today at wendoverfun.com. Mom? No! Hello. You are witches. What? What is going on? Enough, okay? Witches aren't real. Was Mom a witch? Bingo. This is our legacy. Mama wanted us to do this, and now we can figure out who killed her. You are the chopped ones. We're back now with a highly controversial move from President Trump to revoke the security clearance of an outspoken critic and former CIA director. A statement from the president cited John Brennan's, quote, wild outbursts on the Internet and erratic conduct as a reason for the move. Brennan, a lifelong intelligence official for the Obama and Bush administrations, has become one of the president's harshest critics. 
He recently labeled his news conference with Vladimir Putin as treasonous. The move is drawing criticism from both sides of the aisle. I believe that John Brennan has acted in far too politically a role since he left the CIA. Nevertheless, I do not see the grounds for revoking his security clearance. Nearly 4.1 million Americans have security clearances, including 1.3 million with top security clearance. Twelve jurors are deciding the fate of Paul Manafort on 18 felony counts from tax fraud to bank fraud. The government accuses President Trump's former campaign chairman of putting $60 million in overseas bank accounts and failing to pay millions in taxes to the IRS. Manafort's lawyers told jurors to instead look at the actions of Manafort's business partner and the government star witness, Rick Gates. President Trump's attacks on media outlets and journalists are well documented. He's gone as far as to call them the enemy of the people. Well, today some outlets are pushing back. Newspapers from Maine to Hawaii did a series of coordinated editorials responding to the president's denouncement of fake news. The Boston Globe led the effort, and an estimated 350 newspapers participated. The papers want to move the conversation about attacks on the press out of Washington and into their communities. Coming up, big stars raise money for the children's charity We Day. We're going to meet one child from Farmington, Utah, who's being honored just ahead. And live outside, we're looking at some clear, beautiful visibility, but there's ozone in the air, and there are storms that we are tracking. All of that is coming up in Utah's most accurate forecast after the break. You only have 18 summers with your kids. Keep on camping. It's Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s, like Ultima, Titan, and Rogue. Featuring Nissan's latest available tech, don't miss out on clearance savings. The bottom line, the smartest time to buy a new Nissan is now. Save up to 6000 on the 2018 Rogue Hybrid, or save up to 4680 on the 2018 Ultima. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. Been thinking about updating your home? Well, I've got good news. There's no better time than right now at RC Willy. There's still time to dream big and save store-wide. Through Saturday, you'll find dreamy savings on dining sets. This counter height set is $7.99, and this versatile set is $7.99. Save $300 on this set, now $8.99. Enter to win $10,000 toward a dream vacation. Through Saturday, enjoy incredible savings in every department. Don't miss your chance to dream big and save at RC Willy. Okay, we're going to talk about cars today. If you were going to design your perfect car, which three features would you choose? Safety with the kids. Fuel efficiency. Affordable price. My dream car would have all of these things. What if I told you that there was a car that did have everything? Seriously? Okay. <laughs> this is the Chevy Cruze. Go Chevy. Current qualified GM lessees can get $3,750 total cash allowance on most Cruze and Malibu models when you purchase. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast. Weather rate certified seven years in a row. Taking a tour of our pinpoint webcams, we start with the University of Utah Health downtown camera. Actually, it looks pretty good. There's ozone in the air, and I'll show you some of the forecasts for that tomorrow. How about a beautiful view from Cottonwood Heights? And then we head south towards southern Utah, looking off of Lake Mountain. You can see those puffy clouds, nothing really serious, no big developing thunderstorms. And another view from Highland, again, showing fairly good visibility. There uh, happens to be some thunderstorm activity to the south, though. Look at those dark clouds in Cedar City. And to the north of St. George, we've got some clouds. These are the same clouds, uh, but they're not threatening the St. George area right now. Here's the view from above, and notice the showers and thunderstorms. They're moving from south to north, so the flow has switched instead of coming from north to south. And now we're starting to see a drift of these thunderstorms up to the north. So let's investigate. We look to southern portions of Utah. We don't find anything in the St. George area. That's what we saw on the pinpoint webcam. Now there are flash flood watches for the Moapa Valley and for Mesquite and also for the Virgin River Gorge. Some of that is going to make its way towards St. George later this evening. But right now, a couple of thunderstorms in northern Zion National Park and out by the Kolob area. Canaraville and into Cedar City. Some of these are pretty heavy. They're possibly producing enough rain to cause some flash flooding. So turn around, don't drown if you head into a wash. 
that's normally dry and it's full of water. Another line of showers and thunder showers, nothing really serious here, but the good news is this is SR6, and this is kind of a little area on top of the uh, coal hollow fire that's getting some light to moderate rain. The fire is burning in this general area down towards uh, Schofield Reservoir, so good news that we get some rain, but hopefully no microbursts. That would be a big problem. Over in Nevada, we have additional thunderstorms and a cold front that is north of Boise that will be here tomorrow evening. Now, the smoke, for the most part, is staying to the north of Salt Lake City. Most of it uh, in Seattle that was, gave them the worst day yesterday of air quality they've seen in 10 years. Well, that now has moved into Calgary and Rapid City and Winnipeg. Fortunately for us, though, we're uh, in a little better situation. Most of what we have going on is ozone, except for in southern Utah County and around the burn, the scar, the burn area. That's where we're getting a little bit of the PM 2.5, but it's all ozone related in Washington and Iron Counties. 88 in Vernal, 85 in Hanksville, 94 in St. George, 91 degrees in Salt Lake City. So now let's add up the numbers. We'd normally in an entire year have 47 days of 90 or above. We've had 51. Normally we'd have 19 days of 95 or hotter. This is where the heat has been. 39 days, we're 20, we're double the normal days of 95 to 99, but only two days above 100. So that's where our heat really has been. And it has been at a very, we're getting close to a record on that number. We'll, uh, we'll keep you posted on it. Scattered showers and thunder showers this evening. They'll be going away by morning. Start out pretty quiet. And then during the day tomorrow, we have a couple of things going on. Typical monsoon developing thunderstorms. But then by midnight, watch what happens. We have a cold front that will swing through. So our best chance for shower and thunderstorm activity here in the north is going to happen between about 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. And then this line of thunder showers will move east into Vernal by about 6 a.m. That'll cool us down and uh, bring us some quieter and uh, cooler air for the weekend. So the forecast for tomorrow, scattered thunderstorms, especially tomorrow night. Elsewhere, those thunderstorms will pop up here and there throughout the day. Temperature-wise, we're looking at uh, 98 tomorrow in St. George. Hot over the weekend, early next week, and then a little more thunderstorm activity coming back Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And uh, we've got temperatures tomorrow going to be up there right around 90, 91, 92, 3, then 87 and 89 over the weekend. Next week, more, we'll call it isolated thunderstorm activity Monday, scattered on Tuesday, Wednesday. But that's a shift in the forecast we yeah. have, um, that it's a little more active than we've been seeing. You know, that was interesting, though, to see that breakdown as well, because we have been in the 90s more than usual, but... Not above 100. Yeah. So the heat has been 95 to 99, and there are 20 days above, and mm -hmm. that's the whole season. That is a huge number. Yeah. Very hot. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Ooh. A special show that's helping children all over the world airs tomorrow on ABC. Kim is standing by with more on that. Are you ready? We day. We day. There it is. Tonight, stars from movies and music come together to raise money for the children's charity We Day. And one of the awesome kids being honored at this celebration is Nellie Maynard of Farmington, Utah. She's here with me today. So is her mom, Sarah. Guys, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. All right, so Nellie, you were diagnosed with a rare kidney disease back in 2016. So tell me how that's affected you and affected your family. Well, about two years ago, I had this something called insipidities, mm -hmm. and it's just my kidneys aren't working well, and I just just keep doing it. Yep, you just keep going. <laughs> Mom, how has it affected you? Uh, you know, it's changed our life. It's changed our, completely changed our life. Um, uh, she does dialysis at home, 10-hour treatments every single night. Um, before the hospital taught us how to do that, she was going three days a week mm -hmm. um, to the hospital doing dialysis. So she spent a lot of time at Primary Children's Hospital. So this must have been a really cool thing for you guys to do. Oh, it was, it was awesome. It was really fun. Did you have fun? Yes. Okay, let's talk about it here for a second. <laughs> Tell me some of the stuff you did. Well, at Wee Day? Yeah. Yes. Um, I ate popcorn, which I couldn't have, because that was actually pretty... It's pretty good, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who did you see? I saw Selena Gomez and Sophie Carson what? and John Seymour. Yeah. Selena Gomez? Mm -hmm. She's awesome. Yes, she is. So, are you going to actually watch tomorrow? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, what are you looking forward to the most? Selena Gomez and me talking. So wait, you're actually on stage with Selena Gomez. Yes. And this isn't the first <laughs> fundraiser you've... Oh, there you are right there. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So this isn't the first fundraiser you've done, right? Tell me about that. Well, yes, I've done a lot of toy drives and blood drives. And a lot of drives. A lot of drives. <laughs> and, but there's one um, service project that I really love. What's that one? It's the toy drive. Oh. Do you like toy drives because they're fun or for helping other kids have fun? For helping other, other kids, for helping, having fun and me having fun too. <laughs> What's it mean for you to see your daughter doing this kind of fundraising, knowing what she's going through? You know, it makes me really proud of her. Um, of course, she couldn't do this without all of her brothers and sisters helping her out. And it's brought our family pretty close, and it helps take away the heartache of what's going on in her life and helps her focus <clears throat> on something other than her disease, which has been really awesome to see and I'm really proud of her. I'm proud of you, too. Oh, well, my thank you. goodness, you guys. <laughs> made me cry. So, Nellie, before we go, um, you have a special signal for your dialysis friends, right? Yeah. You want to look into that camera right over there. <laughs> Wait one more time. This one right here. There it is. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much thank for joining you. me today and for sharing your story. And I hope you had the most fun, and we'll watch tomorrow and see some great stuff. Okay. Thanks for joining. Thank you for letting me be here. Give me a high five, girl. Awesome. All right, the We Day special airs tomorrow at 7 p.m. right here on ABC. Coming up, after five decades of music and dozens of awards, the Queen of Soul has passed away. We're going to take a look back at the life and career of Aretha Franklin. Got some new blood than some pushing the expiration date. I work twice as fast, three times as hard. Because you're old as hell. Nathan Fillion is the rookie. Premieres Tuesday, October 16th on ABC. Hey, Mom, you know how you wanted me to go through the drive-thru? Well, I'm here, but a uh, slight problem. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. Come in today to take advantage of Mako's overall paint sale. Starting at just $4.99. Mako, America's body shop. The 2018 GLC 4MATIC. Lease the GLC 300 4MATIC for just $4.79 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. Denali, a badge of honor for the relentless, who never tire of striving for the best. This is your invitation to upgrade. The GMC Denali Invitation, going on now. Visit your GMC dealer today. Get these offers on select 2018 GMC Denali models when you finance through GM Financial, like over 9,100 below MSRP on this specially equipped Sierra 1500 Denali. We can't fit all the candles in Murdoch's 90-second birthday cake, and we can't fit all the deals in this 15-second commercial. For our birthday, get up to $8,000 off the Hyundai Santa Fe. Plus, get brakes, oil changes, and car washes all for life. You've got to come and see. This is no place for the timid. Out here, one wrong move can mean the end. But whenever challenges try to pin you down, you bite back. With T-Rex Brute Force, the unmatched strength of a single loop of tape holds more than 700 pounds. So when you're faced with even the most ferocious challenges, bite hard with the absolute strongest duct tape. T-Rex Brute Force. Hey, Mom, you know how you wanted me to go through the drive-thru? Well, I'm here, but a uh, slight problem. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. Come in today to take advantage of Mako's overall paint sale. Starting at just $4.99. Mako, America's body shop. 
We're back now with the latest in entertainment news. And all over the world, hearts are heavy, but full of respect for the Queen of Soul. Yeah, Aretha Franklin died this morning at 76, surrounded by family and friends at her Detroit home. ABC's Lindsay Davis takes a look back at the legendary singer's decades-long career. Aretha Franklin didn't just sing notes. She belted them out. She first wowed the congregation at her father's Baptist church in Detroit. By the time she was 14, she'd already recorded her first gospel album. Before long, she was rock and roll royalty. Over the next five decades, Franklin solidified herself as soul sister number one. And then there was that famous tune about a pink Cadillac. Ultimately, her signature tune for life was the song where she spelled it all out. Respect held the top spot on the pop charts for a record two months, but her gospel roots often pulled her back into the pulpit. As quickly as she made records, she broke them. Her album, Amazing Grace, became one of the best-selling gospel albums of all time. Her soulful voice earned her multiple awards, including more than 20 Grammys. She was the first woman ever inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and regularly had the ear of presidents. In 2005, President Bush honored her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And on January 20th, 2009, Franklin performed at President Barack Obama's inauguration ceremony. The emotion and power of her voice earned her the self-named title, the Queen of Soul. And no one ever challenged it. Her passion, intensity, and ability to move her listeners simply wouldn't allow it. Lindsay Davis, ABC News. Legendary almost doesn't even cut it in I know. this situation. I mean, she had so many songs that every woman I know loves respect. Yeah. I think every man does too, right? <laughs> we can sing it either way, man yeah. or woman, right? But that's what's amazing about her career is she transcends uh, generations, mm -hmm. gender, everything. Yeah. She Amazing. will be missed. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up, we speak with patients who found miracles after terrifying traumatic injuries. That story next at 4.30. Motorcycle accident? Put our expertise to work. Visit us at robertdebry.com. Football fans, strap your pads on. The Denver Broncos preseason games are on ABC4 Utah. Saturday at 7.05, the Broncos take on the Bears. Welcome. So what do you look for in a vehicle? Dependability is top on my list. Well, then here's some vehicles that deliver on that. That's our truck. There are cars. Chevy's the only brand to have earned J.D. Power Dependability Awards across cars, trucks, and SUVs three years in a row. Get 15% below MSRP on most Chevy Equinox models when you finance with GM Financial. That's over $5,600 on this Equinox. Ski Chevy, now at your Rocky Mountain Chevy dealers. The Marcosian Auto Summer Sizzling event is on. Massive selection of cars under 10 grand, like this Impreza, $89.95, or this Cruze, $79.95. Free passes to Seven Peaks Water Park with every test drive, where the fun never ends. And don't forget, a job, a driver's license, and as little as $99 down means approved. Approved. The summer sizzling sales event at Marcosian Auto in Ogden and Taylorsville. Hi, you came at the perfect time because it's the Xfinity Best Deal of the Year. Get two full years of this great rate. Plus, ask about getting 300 bucks back when you include Xfinity Mobile with your internet. Amazing, right? More tuba! Simple, easy, awesome. Get our best deal of the year with more speed than ever and the same great rate for two years. Plus, ask how to save in your wireless bill when you include Xfinity Mobile with your internet. Click, call, or visit us today. Denali, a badge of honor for the relentless, who never tire of striving for the best. This is your invitation to upgrade. The GMC Denali Invitation 
going on now. Visit your GMC dealer today. Get these offers on select 2018 GMC Denali models when you finance through GM Financial, like over 9,100 below MSRP on this specially equipped Sierra 1500 Denali. TV station. News for Utah at 4.30 starts now. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Glenn Mills. And I'm Kim Fisher in Fisher HN. Racial slurs allegedly directed at two Skyview soccer players leads to an investigation at the Canyon School District. A district spokesperson says this happened at a game against Alta High School on Tuesday. The girls say they brought it up to the referee and staff, but nothing was done. Coming up at 6, how the district is responding. The search is on for a man accused of secretly taking photos of young girls, and it's not the first time. Dustin Michael Scott was convicted of lewdness in 2016. Then in July of this year, customers at the Deseret Industries in American Fork say they spotted Scott in the checkout line taking photos of a six-year-old girl. Police found one photo taken up the skirt of a 13-year-old girl. Scott was supposed to turn himself in earlier this month, but never did. If you know where he might be, call American Fork Police. And we're learning more details about Draper Battalion Chief Matt Burchett's funeral today. That service is going to be held on Monday, August 20th at the Maverick Center. Last night, it was quite the scene as Burchett was brought home from California. Thousands lined up along the procession route. Even people who didn't know him took time out of their schedules to honor him. As students begin heading back to school, many are preparing for new classes and activities, but some are also preparing for a nightmare scenario they hope never happens, a mass shooting. Students from around the country are learning about trauma response as part of a campaign called Stop the Bleed. About 50 students from around the country are participating in a series of lectures and hands-on training to stop victims from bleeding out. The Capitol Gazette shooting happened only minutes from the home of one of those students. Along with CPR that we learn in health class, high school, I think that this should be something that we learn because it's happening everywhere. The campaign began in the aftermath of the Sandy Hook shooting. 20 children and six adults were killed then. Officials say a third of those victims might have been saved with this type of training. For more information, go to bleedingcontrol.org. A new program at Intermountain Medical Center is helping patients with some of the most complex and terrifying traumatic injuries by offering support from volunteers who have been in their shoes. Ms. For Utah, Saray Chen filed this report on their new peer mentorship program. We've spent some time talking about the miracles that happen at Intermountain Medical Center Neurospecialty Rehab Unit, often referred to as the Miracle Unit. Now they've ramped up even more to give patients hope in rebuilding their lives. Roger Alfrey's journey getting to the 12th floor at Intermountain Medical Center's Neurospecialty Unit has been a long one. First, a heart condition, heart attack, strokes, and induced coma for two weeks. My wife, I think, has had it rougher. She had to watch me lay unconscious for two weeks. I couldn't have done that. We brought you a toy. A new program called RAMP brings peer support, advice, and coping skills. So RAMP is, uh, it stands for Rehab Advocate Mindset Mentorship Program. Bonnie Larson is the RAMP coordinator. Her team comprises of volunteers who have also suffered a traumatic injury and are now paying it forward. I found it simplest when I come up, I just get my wheelchair as close as I can. It's Roger's first time on the hand cycle. His mentor, who's paralyzed from an ATV accident, teaches Roger some best practices. And soon, they're off wheeling around the 12th floor. Being mobile on the, the bike, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of problem solving for me came from a past, uh, someone that was injured about six months ahead of me. So. He had already experienced most of the stuff that I was now experiencing, and he had a lot of tools and tricks. I can't tell you how wonderful it is to see the hope 
in patients' eyes when they try something new for the first time. While I can help to support and our therapists can help to support during an inpatient rehab stay, the support that comes from the community is so much more valuable. What Roger is most looking forward to is returning home. When I get there, I'll just go in, sit on my couch and cry. Because <laughs> it'll be the first time I've been there in four months. Being able to see the lives rebuilt in motion, that is just a phenomenal feeling to be a part of. Right now, there are 12 rehab advocates who are all volunteers changing lives through one-on-one -on -one coaching and counseling. In the newsroom, Sarai Chin, News 4, Utah. The team and patients are now planning outdoor activities like water sports, fishing, hiking, and skiing. And that will get anyone in a brighter oh, yeah. position, right? Why not? Being outdoors? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, coming up in consumer news tonight, having a hard time finding a home you can afford? A new housing report offers some insight as to why. And another smoky day across the Wasatch. Let's check back in with Dan for a look at the pinpoint weather forecast. Well, we found a couple of spots that don't have a lot of smoke, but there is thunder reported in the last 30 minutes. Storms are getting close to Cedar City on the Southern Utah University Camera Network. Look at how dark the clouds are. Back in a moment with forecast. The untold story of the Trader Joe's hostage siege. New information of how they all got out alive. Next, Inside Edition. Tonight at 6.30 on ABC for Utah. Portions of this program include sponsored segments. Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. Your Buick doesn't have a roof rack. This is my Buick. How are we going to fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Did you? Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. Get 18% below MSRP on most 2018 Encore models when you finance through GM Financial. That's around 4700 below MSRP on this Encore Preferred. It's Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. Like Titan, featuring an Endurance V8 with best-in-class standard horsepower and torque. Backed by America's best truck warranty. The smartest time to buy a new Titan is now. Save up to 11683 on the 2018 Titan or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. Been thinking about updating your home? Well, I've got good news. There's no better time than right now at RC Willie. There's still time to dream big and save store-wide. Through Saturday, you'll find dreamy savings on dining sets. This counter height set is $7.99, and this versatile set is $7.99. Save $300 on this set, now $8.99. Enter to win $10,000 toward a dream vacation. Through Saturday, enjoy incredible savings in every department. Don't miss your chance to dream big and save at RC Willie. Our family is a, a very active family. I have three kids and a lot of stuff. The first time we took the Ascent for a test drive, it reminded us a lot of our old Subaru that we absolutely love. We traded it out for something different, and I was so sad when we did that. In the Ascent, they can all get in, they can all get their own seatbelt done. We are thrilled to be able to go back to Nate Wade Subaru and be able to have the experience that everyone should have when purchasing a new car. Come join us for the Subaru A Lot to Love event going on now. Long before the craving hit you, when nothing else would do but Texas barbecue, we were way ahead of you. Dickie's Barbecue Pit satisfies your craving, delivered where you want it, when you want it. Order online or use our app, Dickie's Delivers. Some big time gains at the close on Wall Street today. Here's a look at how the numbers are panning out. The Dow up. 396 points. The Nasdaq up 32 points and the S&P 500 up 22 points. To a consumer alert now, it's getting harder and harder to find a house that you can actually afford here in Salt Lake City. Yeah, today Remax released its July National Housing Report and listen to this. It shows Salt Lake City now has the third highest median home price in the country. It's also one of the top five cities with the lowest inventory in the country. You know what that means? Not only are there not very many homes available, but the ones that are on the market are more expensive than most can afford based on income. That's what we've been talking about in the newsroom yep. for a while and now. that's good for sellers, not yeah. so much for buyers, yeah. Not right? for buyers. Yeah. It's not good for everybody. All right, let's see what's coming up <laughs> at five. 
Well, I'm glad that I'm not trying to buy a house. Let's yeah. just put it that way, at least right now. A health alert in Utah to tell you about the state's first human case of the West Nile virus is found. We'll tell you where and what it means. And it is the press versus the president, so to speak. President Trump continues to call some reporters fake news, some agencies fake news. Now reporters are fighting back. We'll explain. We'll have those stories. Plus, since we are talking about houses, let's talk about a motorhome, right? Well, check out a motorhome made for a legend in rock and roll. What it looks like and how much it would cost you to buy. That's all coming your way at 5 o'clock. All right. All right. Nothing. I'll, I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> yes, it's when, when Glenn gets out of I'll that chair exit, and I come Donald and take come in and right over there. I think I'll probably take your spot <laughs> That's over there. That's right. Yeah. We'll just switch spots. Right? All right. <laughs> Still ahead on this newscast. Let's stick with the housing situation. While there may be a shortage, that doesn't mean you can't find anything. Yeah, we're going to tell you about two new housing communities coming to Utah soon. Tonight, whose security clearance could be revoked next? The list, the threat, is the president targeting his political opponents? Plus, what's next in the special counsel's case against Paul Manafort? World News Tonight with David Muir, America's most watched newscast. People say that I'm a rock star. They think I stay up all night. Epic summer sales event with select SUVs starting around 20K. This summer is going to be epic. Get 42.50 in savings or 0% APR financing for 60 months on the Santa Fe Sport. Only at your Utah Hyundai dealers. Mattress Firm's most popular sale is back. Why? Because people like you loved it. So, for a limited time, we've dropped the price of a king to a queen and the price of a queen to a twin. Enjoy savings of up to $600 across America's best-selling brands. Save big on every brand in the store and rest easy knowing you got the best deal around. But the sale won't last long. Hurry in today for incredible savings. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. Fan X. The ultimate fan experience is back this September 6th through 8th at the Salt Palace Convention Center. There will be movie stars, panels, parties, artists, authors, cosplay, and geek merchandise galore. Come meet your favorite heroes or villains and get photo ops and autographs from celebrities like Ben Affleck, Evangeline Lilly, Dick Van Dyke, David Tennant, Chuck Norris, and more. Tickets now available at FanXSaltLake.com, formerly known as Salt Lake Comic Con. This is no place for the timid. Out here, one wrong move can mean the end. But whenever challenges try to pin you down, you bite back. With T-Rex Brute Force, the unmatched strength of a single loop of tape holds more than 700 pounds. So when you're faced with even the most ferocious challenges, bite hard with the absolute strongest duct tape. T-Rex Brute Force. The resorts at Wendover are your home for world-class entertainment. The Peppermill Concert Hall is pleased to welcome the magic of America's Got Talent winner, Matt Franco. Live September 7th. Get your tickets and room packages today at wendoverfun.com. Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Dan Pope, Weather Rate Certified, seven years in a row. Hope you're having a good day today. The weather is cooperative. It's hot. Nothing unusual about that. The ozone is the big issue across the Salt Lake Valley. Other than that, the smoke has pretty much gone away, at least for a couple of days. Uh, other views in Cedar City, you can see it's very dark and ominous. We have thunder and rain in the area. And then we move farther south in St. George. We're looking north at that same cluster of clouds. But in St. George, we have plenty of sunshine. Now, when we look at the big view, lots of action, lots of things going on. But boy, let's zoom in on an area. Look how much of the southwest is under a flash flood watch or flash flood warnings where you see the red, severe thunderstorm warnings. I mean, this is very active weather from Bullhead City to Lake Havasu City over towards Palm Springs and Palmdale. That is a crazy day for places that don't normally see a lot of rain. Now we're getting some thunderstorms that are pretty heavy in northeastern portions of Zion National Park, as well as along the I-15 and west of Cedar City out towards Enterprise, the north side of the Pine Valley Mountains. Other showers have developed in areas that are farther north, but most of them so far staying away from the Wasatch Front. Right here we have some showers close to the Coal Hollow Fire. That's this zone right here. This is where it's burning, kind of up into here. So we've seen some showers near there 
there, as well as by Strawberry Reservoir and over the western Uintas, the western Uinta Basin. Other thunderstorms have formed in northeast Nevada around the uh, area north of Wild Horse Reservoir, the Jarbridge, and northern mountains of Elko County. So when we put this all together, we add up where the smoke is and where the smoke will be going. We look at the air quality, PM 2.5s, as well as looking at the ozone. Here's where we'll be tomorrow. Orange air quality, so we have Weber, Davis, Salt Lake, and uh, Utah counties in that orange category. Everybody else is yellow, and it's, again, primarily for PM, for the uh, ozone, not the PM 2.5 so much. The 88 in Vernal right now, 86 in Price, 95. Hanksville, 94 in St. George, and in Salt Lake City, we're in the low 90s. Now, we have a chance for showers and thunder showers tonight, and it uh, doesn't look like anything really organized until we get into tomorrow night. Watch what happens as we move through the day. Thunderstorms develop in those typical areas, but we begin to see a line of showers out here to the northwest. Watch by 11, 12, 1 a.m. This, uh, this is the best chance we'll have for showers and thunderstorms along the Wasatch Front tomorrow night. Then these will move eastward into Vernal by early in the morning and linger across the eastern side of the state. That should clear out the thunderstorm monsoon moisture for a couple of days and also it may bring the smoke back in from the Pacific Northwest. We'll have to kind of watch that and see how it plays out. In the meantime, going into Saturday looks quieter and nicer. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. 86 in Rock Springs and 96 in Provo, 92 in Delta and St. George, you're going to be 98. Nice weekend coming up, 100 to 103. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, a little more monsoon moisture and temperatures cool back into the upper 90s. Now, on your day planner for tomorrow, starts, starts out pretty good. Uh, it's hit or miss showers around 5 p.m., more numerous showers and thunderstorms, 10, 11, and midnight into 1 a.m. as that front moves through. And the high temperature, 93, and then uh, dropping 6 degrees to 87 degrees on Saturday. 89 on Sunday, a great weekend forecast for you. Monday, isolated storms return with scattered thunderstorms on Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs between 90 and 95 next week. Mother Nature's listening. I say bring on the rain, just not on the weekends. I'm just going to go wash my car and then, but I, I'll do it now. So yeah. it gets it out of the way before the weekend. Well, and then it's a, for sure we're going to get rain to right. go wash your car. Absolutely. All right. A couple of new housing communities are coming to Utah. Glenn has more on how you can get in on the ground level. Glenn. Yeah, adding some supply to that demand. I'm here now with Claire Larson, sales and marketing director, and Rick Huggins, sales professional, both with Woodside Homes. Great to have the two of you with us. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, thanks for Thank having you. us. Uh, such a big issue. We've been talking about it uh, throughout the newscast, and it's on a lot of people's minds. But uh, start off with Woodside Side Homes, who you are and what you're all about. Fantastic. I, it's awesome that we're here with affordable housing because Woodside Homes is all about affordable housing. Mm -hmm. We've been in Utah for over 40 years. We're actually headquartered here in Utah and we started in Utah. So we're pretty planted here in Utah. This is where our roots are. And our biggest focus is mainly on customer experience. So we um, just came up with an um, online inspiration gallery. We want to make it easy for our customers throughout the process. So when our, pro when our home buyers are looking to purchase a home, they can go online at their leisure in the evening when they put their kids to bed and go online and do their interior design shopping and pick their cabinets, their flooring, their faucet fixtures mm -hmm. you name it that's pretty amazing you can do that all online but then you can also go and see it yeah. physically as well oh it's so we have this huge space called our inspiration gallery mm -hmm. and they meet with a designer and they go over some of their wish list items and look at them and touch them and feel them put the colors together and make sure everything still jives and um, then they can select other items that are in there as well and have the full experience of being able to do it at home without arguing in public and then mm -hmm. being able to meet with a designer and actually We're seeing some of the designer. renderings now just just beautiful. Uh, oh. What are you what are you seeing right now with the market? Are people kind of selling their homes and using equity to uh, move up in new homes? What are you seeing out there? We're seeing a little bit of both. We have yeah. a lot of um, Millennials in Utah that believe it or not do want homes and so Woodside um, that's our primary focus is affordable housing. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of the first-time home buyers because we can create 
affordable housing for them where you can't find it anywhere. And also the move up where they do sell their existing so home, seeing a good get the equity. Yep. Well, just fantastic renderings there. Uh, Rick, let's bring you in. Sure. Uh, talk about communities that you're in now and you also are announcing a brand new community. Absolutely. So right now we're in communities from Davis County down through Utah County. Uh, we have nine communities in northern Utah. Um, today, what we're announcing is our new community, Stone Creek, in uh, American Fork. Mm -hmm. Beautiful community, great access to all the amenities, uh, great shopping, close to even a private marina, a uh, public marina, actually. And um, beautiful homes, so large lot sizes, great floor plans. In fact, we've introduced new floor plans uh, in our most recent communities that have been wildly successful. And in this community, we're uh, introducing even more new plans. Mm -hmm. So we're very excited about this product. One the, of the marina, best, you kind of sold me on that yeah, point. <laughs> kind of cool. If you're a boater, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. So the, uh, the other thing that's great, though, is mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about price point. Uh, these are starting under $300,000 for no single-family homes on wow. great lot sizes. I yeah. think those will sell fast. Uh, anyone who Absolutely. would like more information, how can they find you guys? Absolutely. Visit our website, mm -hmm. woodsidehomes.com backslash Utah and get a list of all of our communities right. and we have a new that. one after that coming mm -hmm. up in Bluffdale with townhomes and single-family homes so right. we're super excited about what Woodside's doing here all right thanks so much for uh, filling us in we really appreciate it thank you, thank you. coming up some groundbreaking DNA testing at a local aquarium shows some fraternity surprises for penguins that's next Next at 5. Trump versus reporters. The president started the trending topic, and today, the media responded. Plus, waiting, watching, and serving. A life saved by an unexpected hero. Next at 5 on News 4 Utah. Hey, Mom, you know how you wanted me to go through the drive through Well, I'm here, but a uh, slight problem. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. Come in today to take advantage of Mako's overall paint sale. Starting at just $4.99. Mako, America's body shop. Black Bear Diner does burgers big and bold. And for a limited time only, three new bold burgers. Your choice for only $8.99. First up, the Blazing Bear Burger brings the heat with our original Papa Burn barbecue sauce. Or bite into the Fajita Burger, Southwest flavor on an American classic. Finally, the Steakhouse Burger takes savory to a whole new level. For a limited time only. So hurry, your pick, just $8.99. are just kids with much, much better toys. Introducing the 2018 C-Class Sedan, Coupe, and Cabriolet. The thrills keep getting better. Lease the C300 formatic for $3.99 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. It's here. The summer sell-off RV event is going on now, only at Camping World. Now through August 31st, America's number one RV dealer is offering huge savings on hundreds of RVs, up to 44% off. Save big on new travel trailers, including this Jayco Octane, yours for only $169 per month. Inventory is selling fast. Act now before these deals are gone. Don't wait. The summer sell-off RV event ends this month. Visit your local Camping World Supercenter today. Hey, Mom, you know how you wanted me to go through the drive through well, I'm here, but a uh, slight problem. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. Come in today to take advantage of Mako's overall paint sale. Starting at just $4.99. Mako, America's body shop. The deadliest waterfall in America. Teen after teen plunging to their deaths after posing for a scenic shot. How these waterfall selfies can end in disaster. Next in some edition. Tonight at 6.30 on ABC4 Utah. Welcome back. The adorable Gen 2 penguins at Loveland Living Planet Aquarium are the focus of a groundbreaking study. And it turns out, Gen 2 penguins, <laughs> not as monogamous as we thought. The aquarium partnered with Utah Valley University researchers to do the first ever genetic testing to determine Gen 2 penguin paternity. Well, the genetic testing revealed while penguins often pair up and show social monogamy, 
they are not exactly faithful when it comes to reproductive monogamy. Hmm. In fact, teams mm. at the aquarium found out that they were actually wrong about which penguin fathered which chick 20% of the time. You are not the father. Yeah, this sounds like a Jerry Springer <laughs> episode. They uh, learned Roto, a penguin at Loveland Living Planet Aquarium, is actually the father of five out of eight chicks born at the aquarium. Men. Call Penguin Maury. <laughs> the News at 5 is next.